These dishes are all served family style with the intent of sharing and eating together. What ties all Palestinian tables together is more than just good food or specific dishes. It is the notion of home, the spirit of generosity, the importance of family, and the value of bringing people together. If there is one thing the following dishes introducing you to Palestinian cuisine can help you understand, it is precisely that. 1. Za'atar, Middle Eastern Herb Blend No Palestinian table is complete without za'atar, which is often eaten with bread dipped in olive oil. It can be used in a number of ways, as a topping for manakish, a type of flatbread, mixed into yogurt or labani, or even as a seasoning for meat and chicken marinades. The spice blend consists of toasted sesame seeds, dried za'atar leaves, though you can also use dried oregano, marjoram, or thyme, sumac, and a little bit of salt. 2. Taboon, flatbread. Though taboon is the name given to the clay ovens used by Palestinians, it also refers to this flatbread. It's soft, tender, and dimpled from being cooked on stones. And unlike pita bread, taboon doesn't open up to become a pocket, but is instead sturdier allowing it to support a heavier load of toppings. It's used as the main component of mimsakan, but can also be used to scoop up anything from labana and hummus to stews and braises. When topped with olive oil and za'atar and heated in the oven, taboon becomes a crispy manakish. 3. Ka'ak al-Quds, Jerusalem sesame bread. The oblong sesame breads are synonymous with Jerusalem. After all, Ka'ak al-Quds translates to Jerusalem Ka'ak, and most Palestinians agree that the Ka'ak made in Jerusalem taste better than those made anywhere else in the country. While there are many breads today that are similar, from from Turkish Semit to Polish Oborzanki, Ka'ak al-Quds is distinguished by both its flavor, which comes from being baked in centuries-old ovens heated with olive wood, and its shape. This recipe may not taste exactly like the ones made in Jerusalem, but their crispy exteriors and fluffy interiors make an excellent placeholder to eat alongside za'atar, falafel, or eggs. 4. Salata Falahia, Farmer's Salad So many cultures, from Mediterranean and Balkan to Central and South Asian, have some version of a salad made from cucumber and tomato. The Palestinian iteration features finely diced tomato and cucumber cubes no larger than a dry chickpea. Mint, fresh or dry, is commonly incorporated, and occasionally a sprinkling of parsley, and onions are a must. The dressing is nothing more than olive oil, fresh lemon juice, and salt. And while my recipe includes measurements and weights for those who want it, this is a salad that can and should be adjusted to your tastes. 5. Maklube, upside-down meat, vegetables, and rice. Maklube or makluba, which simply means flipped over, is traditionally made by boiling either lamb or chicken, frying one or more vegetables, historically just eggplants, then layering the meat, rice, and vegetables in a stew pot and cooking it with some stock. Today there are countless variations, but all of them result in a dish that's flipped over to reveal a complete and festive meal. It's a dish that can serve as a celebratory meal or a weekly family one, and is often accompanied by fried slivered almonds, yogurt, and chopped Palestinian salad. Six. Hashway, spiced rice and meat. Hashway simply means stuffing. And that's what Palestinians call this dish even when it doesn't function as an actual stuffing. While stuffed dishes are often reserved for guests and special occasions, the stuffing itself is more commonly served as a meal in its own right. It consists of simple ingredients, which means the quality of those ingredients are especially important. While it's possible to make this meal using ready ground beef and store-bought broth, hand-diced meat and homemade broth is preferred. These small details will ensure a superior flavor and texture that complement the spices in the dish. 7. Dawali, Stuffed Grape Leaves While Dawali is one of our most common meals, it's primarily a celebratory one. The one-pot dish consists of grape leaves stuffed with a mixture of rice, spices, and meat, which is then placed on top of lamb ribs, though other cuts of meat can also be used, cooked on a stovetop and flipped over for a beautiful presentation when serving. The process of preparing this dish is time-consuming, but well worth it for the results, and something to get the whole family involved in. 8. Kafta Bibandora, ground meat patties and tomato sauce. A mixture of minced meat and spices, kafta can be found in many iterations across the Middle East, South Asia, and parts of Europe. In the Palestinian kitchen, it's usually made with minced lamb, but it can also be made with beef, goat, or any combination thereof. 
Some common mix-ins include onions, garlic, parsley, spices, nuts, and other herbs. Every family has their own version. It can be shaped into sausages or patties, baked or grilled, served with rice, potatoes, or bread, or all three. The possibilities are endless. 9. Kidre, bone-in lamb with spiced rice. Kidre is the hallmark dish of the Palestinian city of Hebron and one that's commonly served during the month of Ramadan, as well as weddings, funerals, and special occasions. It consists of tender bone-in lamb atop fragrant spiced rice and is almost always served with a side of plain yogurt and chopped Palestinian salad. It primarily gets its flavor from the neighborhood wood-fired oven where in Hebron it's sent to finish cooking. Without that oven, it's hard to impart the same aroma, so here I've added ingredients other cities have been known to include like chickpeas and whole garlic cloves. 10. Maf Tool, wheat pearls in a vegetable chickpea and chicken stew. A distinctively Palestinian dish, maf tool are caviar-sized pearls made of whole wheat. The most traditional way to serve maf tool is with a brothy stew that includes onions, chickpeas, and chicken, and frequently seasoned with caraway. It can be common to include butternut squash or pumpkin cubes. Some people add tomato paste to the broth, while others cook the pearls directly in a tomato broth and serve it up similar to a risotto. Homemade maf tool takes time, patience, and practice, but you can purchase dried maf tool to make the process easier. 11. Mansaf, spiced lamb with rice and yogurt sauce. Mansaf is not only known as the quintessential dish of the Bedouins, the nomadic Arab people that live across the Middle East and North Africa, but is also considered one of the national dishes of both Jordan and Palestine. Today's preparation of the dish has evolved from its original, exclusively using jameed to make the sauce and baste the flatbread in, before including rice or bulgur on top of the bread. As for the meat, either lamb or goat is nestled on top and scattered with toasted nuts, and the remaining yogurt is usually served on the side. 12. Masakan flatbreads with onion, sumac, and spiced roast chicken. A celebrated and essential meal to the cuisine, many refer to mesakan as the national dish of Palestine, although there are probably three or four more dishes vying for the title. It's made by slowly cooking down onions with tart sumac, which gives them their notorious purple hue and balances out the sweetness of the onions, before adding taboon and topping with crispy chicken and pine nuts. The dish offers a satisfying contrast of textures and flavors made with very simple ingredients.